What's up guys, it's your boy Ojab here back with another YouTube video now. It's been a while since I've done a reaction video on this channel. I haven't been pretty, well I've been pretty consistent with the music, but not with the, with the, with the, with the videos. But I've done a few live streams, they were alright, they were kind of bad. I'm making this video because Kodeka just released his new single, Tell Me A Joke. And I'm gonna be honest here. I haven't even I haven't even watched or listened to his other song. A Born Yesterday. That's that's how that's it's been a month. It's it's been a month and I still haven't watched it. I figured that I would uh, not wait another month and react to this as soon as it dropped, which was last night at midnight. Uh, so I, I will make a reaction video for Born Yesterday. I, I will, okay? It's just hard because my phone, I do everything on my phone, so my storage, it get it, like my storage, I gotta be like on point with that. But we're gonna be listening to Kwadeka Tell Me a Joke from his new album, upcoming album, I Didn't Mean to Haunt You. And I'm very skeptical about this album. I don't know if that's the right word, but just because I haven't heard his new, since I haven't heard uh, Born Yesterday, I don't know what his new sound is like. I don't know if he has a new sound or anything. I know from me to you, really, really, um, changed or like he i know i know he changed up his flow a little bit about his music style and i'm gonna be honest with you uh, i really do like the rapping so all the uh, aesthetic parts is cool and all that it's just that it's not really something i'd listen to but i will take into consideration since it's one of my favorite artists and he's actually doing a pretty good good he's doing a pretty good job at it so i'm hoping that um, he does more rapping. I know I really like voice memos. I still listen to that every day uh, So I don't know. I'm not I'm not critiquing anything. I, he, he's he's improving in his music He's definitely improving in his music. It's just that obviously like the changes are You can see the difference between voice memos and for me to you and I really like voice memos and for me to you They have it has some great tracks. It's just a lot of interludes and stuff and it's not really my thing personally, but it's 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 way better than voice i mean for me to you production wise is way better than voice memos it's just that voice memos hits harder for me i don't know if that makes sense but nonetheless let's get right into kodeka tell me a joke that dropped at midnight and hopefully the storage on this phone does not stop this video from recording let's go five minute track i just noticed that five minute track now i've seen this snippet and he's still uh, i've seen a snippet of him in in this thing on Instagram, so it still kind of sounds like for me too. I respect that. I respect that. And he's still in the snow for some reason. Didn't get um, picked up after for me to you. Still stuck in the snow. But it's all good. It's all good. I see that. I see the vibe he's going with though. It's actually kind of lit. I think airline food is great. Kodeka is the next Kevin Hart. Like, bro, that was lit. <laughs> okay. His quality in music pro uh, in the video production is so. No, I actually like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm starting to like this a lot. It's giving me goosebumps and the song hasn't even started. Now, this is not just me being a Quadeca fan, but I like I like how it sounds. I like how it sounds. I like how it sounds. Mm. 
Now I can definitely tell he switched from his rapping to this. I hope in the album he does a lot of rapping, but this song is actually lit. It's way different than what he that I'm used to. I'd say it's almost the same as For Me To You. It kind of gives the same vibe as For Me To You, but I guess that's just what he transitioned with, with For Me To You, and now he's transitioning to this type of sad, like, type of music. But it's actually, it's actually hitting. It's actually hitting, it's actually hitting, it's actually hitting. Because it seems, it seems more like an interlude, but, I'm gonna be honest here, it sounds like, because I'm, I'm on a worship team at my church, it sounds like, it kind of sounds like the gospel songs that we practice. I'm not even gonna lie, like, some of the songs that we, like, do in church, they hit. And, like, they hit hard sometimes. I'm a big fan of, like, gospel, gospel music in general. Like, I'm not, I'm not really religious, uh, but I just always love like gospel music, just so beautiful and epic, and like you know, you feel the soul and the chord progressions are so fire. This 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 might be it. This might be this might be. Bro, no, it's actually it's actually hitting. I don't know what it is, but it's hitting the feels for me. It's actually hitting the feels for me. I I think it's the sound. What am I saying? I don't even know. Oh, the vocals, bro. He's actually killing it in his singing. He's actually killing it in his singing, though. This definitely seems more like an interlude to me. I'm not even gonna lie. But I'm not saying it's bad. Because it's actually, it's, it's so, it's so, it's just so different from what I expected from Quadeca. Well, because of, for me to you, I think it, he, he's going through this switching to his like, this singing phase thing, but, I'm still always listening to his rap stuff and it's just Nah bro that just gave me goosebumps. No, I don't know. Bro, the music is just hitting different for me because I always rock to like voice memos like always listening to voice memos. <laughs> No, no Grammarly. No one cares about you, Grammarly. What was I trying to say? Um. No, like, I always listen to Quedeca, like, like his old stuff, like his YouTube rapper phase, like, uh, like all his voice memo tracks. I, I literally listened to that, like, not even a few hours ago. It's way different than what he used to make, for sure. Uh, I'm just speechless right now. 
I don't even know what to say. Like I listen to I listen to him with Moxes, you know, Schoenberg, uh, No Deal, all that's a heart attack is probably my favorite, like one of my favorite songs from Quadeca. So from him doing that to transitioning to his new style of whatever his music is, it hits so deep. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know what it is. It's just the music is different, but he's doing it in the way he wants it and it's working. I don't know what it is with Quadeca because I do, I, I wish he'd do more rapping because his rapping inspires what I do, right? So, but now he's doing all this pop, just kind of like what Joji did. You know what Joji did? He went from rapping and, well, he went from being pink guy to like rapping and stuff to like kind of transitioning to all this being sad, heartbroken music. And I feel like that's what Quedek is kind of doing. I don't know if the rest of his album is going to be like that, uh, but I'm very looking forward to it. I hope this video wasn't trash. I'm going to rewatch it. <laughs> Uh, rewatch this vi these clips over to see if this was a good video or not. I digress. I think this song actually hit. I keep saying it hits different, but it just does just because of the way I listen to Quadeca. It's kind of just I've been been used to all this rapping. Even with From Me to You, I kind of just you can listen to Quadeca's From Me to You in a different mood. So I say for me when I listen to Quadeca, vo Quadeca's voice memos, I get hype and all that and sometimes there's a little moody in there like like man on my left shoulder i like to listen to that i remember when i went to work one time i was just uh driving and it was raining i was listening to um my left man on my left shoulder Bruh, the vibe was crazy like from me to you is like a whole different like that's that's the type of music you listen to when you're when you're on the drive and you're trying to sleep and it's just you're all by you know like if you're you're, you're trying to separate from the hypeness there are still some hype tracks like candles on fire, uh, burning bridges, all that, but work. But sometimes you get to like take it easy. That's that's why I feel like for me to you was. I feel like it's a mix of both. Uh, but de they're definitely different vibes. Voice memos, and for me to you, they're totally different albums. Now this new one, I I, I don't know what what's gonna be. It's gonna be all all this. I don't know. The vibe is definitely changing. I can tell. Um, as listening to Quadeca for a few years, it's actually kind of interesting if you think about it. The song just left me speechless because I'm I'm telling you right now. I I told you this before. It sounds like how gospel music, like I don't want to say like Hell Song and all that. Like when I was practicing, and sometimes some of the songs hit me like deep. And this song, I don't know what it is, but it kind of helped me. Uh, kind of felt the exact same way. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't really pay attention to the lyrics. I just kind of pay attention to the sound. Most of the time, it's what I do when I'm reacting. But I didn't really get much of the lyrics. I will listen to this more, and I'll definitely listen to Born Yesterday because this song was was actually like I don't know. It it just hit different. I do miss Quadeca's rapping, but if he takes this approach, I think he's gonna go way farther than just being a YouTube rapper. And I think that's why he's one of the best artists on YouTube. I think KSI, I think he's probably the best artist when it comes to, oh, like being mainstream. Uh, I don't even know why I brought KSI into this. No, I guess I always, I always thought that KSI was just kind of like a YouTube rapper. I thought the same thing with Quadeca, but then they just went on and improved. And now he's like one of the biggest artists in, in UK, I think. I don't know. But Quadeca, he, he's, he's climbing up here. He's, he's climbing up there. It's making new new sounds out here. Now I'm all quiet because I don't know what to say. I'm just trying to make a discussion. But that's going to be it for me. I haven't made a YouTube video in a minute. I have a new music video that's coming out. Here's a preview if I if I show it. If not, then I got lazy and I didn't do it. The trip, just look at the face, just look at the wrist, yeah. Just hopping on whip, we ain't gonna slip, we taking the trip, yeah. I'm back on the track, just look at the stats, we ain't coming last, yeah. My flow's too fast, it feel like the flash, turn up to the max, yeah. And I but, but you will see it this Sunday. Katara from my album produced by Natuka and directed and shot by your boy Caleb King. And if you haven't seen Caleb King's new uh video on Wallace King with his uh, uh it's like a collab um channel prank channel he brought a chicken to the mall which is weird so go and check that out right now I don't know if I'm gonna put it up there not I don't know link in the description below new songs I have Tetsaga I'm Tetsaga 
which is an Inuyasha in inspired song, uh, Guap Captor, Guap Captor OJ, uh, which is a card captor type uh, inspired song. Usagi, a Sailor Moon type song, and OJ can't communicate. And I got a whole bunch of other type, I a whole bunch of other songs that I'm working on. They're just for fun and making freestyle, not really freestyles because I'm writing them, but like, you know, songs. With that in mind, that is it for me. Links in the description below. Make sure to go check out my music. And they're also on SoundCloud too, if you want to check those out. I just dropped actually last night, or yesterday, uh, an old throwaway from the album called Marcy Wu, AKA To The Moon. And it's kind of like a blamey type song. I didn't think I liked it as much, but I dropped it anyway. So um, check that out. I'll see you guys. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. But I think Kodaka's new album is going to be sick. It's going to be very different, but it's going to be... I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. We also got to listen to Born Yesterday. So if I get the chance, I'll make a video on it. I'm not going to listen to it yet until I get to record it. Okay. Bye.